Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper and we're out at the retreat location this weekend working on the solar power project, specifically the installation of the new TS MPPT 60 charge controller by Morningstar. This is the fourth video of my playlist series on this charge controller. In the previous videos we did the unboxing, setting the dip switches internally, connecting it to a PC for programming, and then actually programming it to match my batteries out here at the retreat location. And now we have the unit up on the wall. We pulled out the old PWM charge controller there. We'll put that back as a spare. And here's the new MPPT charge controller. And we'll try to get in here with this camera. It's not the best. And what we have here is, of course, we already programmed the dip switches. That was in the first video. Then second video covered connecting the computer to the COM port. And in the third video, we actually programmed it to match my battery bank here. And how we did the installation, of course, we mounted it on the wall. The first thing we did was connect the battery ground, or negative, battery positive. That powered the unit up. Then we brought in the PV array, the negative and the positive here on these posts. And the blinking green light, one second on, one second off, is an indication that the charge controller is in the float mode. So this charge controller is putting out 13.2 volts to the battery bank. That's the float level for the Trojan T105RE battery. And then above that I have a disconnect box coming down from the solar panel array and the array is putting out 18.4 volts. So we are now operational. I still have to run the ground. I'm going to try to get to that tomorrow. But we wanted to get this up and operational. Here in the box if you order one of these there's a little plastic post that actually snaps on to the reset slash equalization button that extends it out so when you put the cover on you can still reach that button. So that's the internal workings of the charge controller. We'll go ahead and put the cover on and then we'll start working on the ground. Uh, next trip out here at the retreat location we're going to install the ethernet portion so I can remotely monitor this. We will install the battery temperature sensor and then the actual battery sensor. This is a lead here that goes out to the battery that tries to calculate for voltage drop across the line so the charge controller knows exactly what the voltage is for the batteries at the batteries. So we got a few more videos to cover on this charge controller. It has an awful lot of features in it and a lot of capability. Too much to cover in one video and surely too much to cover on one weekend trip out at the retreat location. So I'll keep these videos coming piece by piece. We'll get this covered up. We'll show you what it looks like hanging on the wall all covered up. In the next video, of course, we'll cover the Ethernet and connecting the other options. So we'll go ahead and pause here and get that cover on. Alright guys, we got the cover back on the charge controller. We have a rapid blinking green light there, which tells me the charge controller is in the absorption or bulk mode now. We've run a few appliances, so the charge controller is picking up the charge right there. So we'll get working on the ground, the earth ground for the charge controller, and then get some drywall compound to plug those holes from the old charge controller. That was actually the first charge controller. Then we went to the second charge controller and now we're on the final charge controller. So we'll wrap this video up and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with the fourth video in the playlist series on Morningstar's MPPT 60 charge controller. Thanks for watching guys.